Hi, just thought I would share with you putting together a mums and bubs bag for the Share the Dignity It's in the Bag campaign, which starts um, from the 19th to the 28th of November with the, um, the collection points being uh, open at Bunnings. So what I'm, I'm putting, to do, putting together about five mums and bubs bags. So I just thought I'd show you what I'm putting in mine. So the, I've grabbed a large overnight style bag from Kmart and the essentials for the mum and bubs bags. It's basically the same as an adult's ladies bags, but then there's some essentials obviously for bubs. So the essentials are shampoo and conditioner. As I've given you here before, I always pop my shampoo and conditioner in a, um, a Ziploc bag just to make sure that there is no spillage. Difference with the mum and bub bag is actually maternity style pads. Then we have the roll-on deodorant, soap, toothpaste, toothbrush. So that was shampoo and conditioner, soap, toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, sanitary items. So that's the seven essentials for mum. Then the essentials for bub, newborn nappies. If you can't fit them in the bag, you are still quite welcome to just tie them on to the outside of the bag. We've seen that. But in this case, these will actually fit into this, into this bag. It's going to be a lot of room. Then, so we have nappies. We have wipes. We have baby wash. We have baby shampoo. We have dummies. We have breast pads and um, nap disposable nappy bags. So with these two, you are quite welcome to remove, um, like basically take some out of your packet and put them in. So in this case, I had two packets of the breast pads, which made up 80. Um, I'm making five bags, so I have 16 in each Ziploc bag. And then same as the, um, the nappy disposable bags. Um, I think they were in packets of 200. So I've, I had two lots of them. So I've just separated them across my bags. So that is acceptable. And then we have nappy rash cream. So that is all the essentials for mum and bubs. Then of course, you've got to have some extras, um, some other niceties, and I still have room, which is great. So a few of the um, niceties for mum, I'm just going to pop in a brush. I, as, as well as the, um, the soap, I like to put in some body wash. Again, being the liquid, I put it in a Ziploc bag. I found some Beaujé jewellery, so I've put those in a box and I've just popped that in as well. Just a, just a nice thank you. Then I have a lip balm and some nail polish. I have a hand cream from the body shop, just some tissues and a couple of face um, masks. You can really put in anything that you choose that's nice, that's new, that you think mum would appreciate. And then I've also got some extras for bub. I have a jersey blanket. Then we have some cute little, just long sleeve um, body suits. Aren't these gorgeous? These little beanies. Most of these I've gotten from Kmart. They're just so reasonably priced. Then we have these gorgeous little socks. They're cuties. And some bibs, a pack of three bibs. And then last thing I want to pop in is I've had these um, Taekwondo teddies left over from a training camp. So even though the uniform could be removable, I'm going to leave that up to mum to make her decision as to whether she wants to remove it um, for bub. So that actually fits all in there. And a zipper is a great idea. All of my bags that I've bought have zippers. It just makes it nice and neat. And then the difference for to identify um, for the Shiro's that actually collect these bags and check them. Teen bags have yellow ribbons attached. The mum and bub's bag, if you just pop something, some yellow, sorry, some purple ribbon on them, certainly the mums and bub's bags are easy to identify even without these, but just makes it nice and easy for us to identify um, 
the type of bag that you're donating. And so that's my mum's and bub's bag, one of them ready to go.